So Dinesh, you were telling us about the story of the bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge, the uh, which which was proposed from Shoram to Salvador Dumun, mm-hmm. leading so that people from that island and the adjoining areas yeah could commute uh, commute and reach Panjim in a jiffy. Okay. Okay. So the people were kept in the dark regarding the alignment. Yeah. Some uh, Panch members of Salvador Dumun Panchayat yeah. went to certain tenants of fields I see. and told them that they would get so many lakhs, 30 lakhs, 20 lakhs, I 10 see. lakhs based on the area okay. Okay. taken up. Okay. A- area which would be taken up for yeah. the bridge. Yeah. The bridge ends in our ancestral field. Okay. They now approached me, they never told me. <laughs> and uh, afterwards, someone informed me that uh, people are going around asking for signatures and promising people so many lakhs and all. So, I, so then I, I asked the punch, punch member, yeah. concerned, that Baba, you have not told me. So they said, no, we, we, would be, we, are com- we would be coming to you, meet you. So I said, what is it? How you all have operated? Only a select few people. So they said, no, they are the fields which will be affected. So, and they gave me one list, yeah. which showed that so and so, and uh, at some 3,000 rupees a square meter, which is a big sum of money. Which year? Some four years back. Okay. For, for uh, fields which are lying fallow. fallow. Because they are not, yeah. they are not constructible fields. They are not cultivable. What Cult- constructible? Contra- contra- and you cannot convert also, no? So, so then I, I raised it as a Gram Sabha and I said that uh, this will be totally detrimental to the village of Salvato Dumun. Why? Yeah. Because it, is, it will cut the fields into two portions hmm. and uh, leading to water logging. Yeah. The see. salinity will enter our uh, uh, wells. Yeah. You will, you are giving only people directly affected. What about those indirectly affected? Right. And thirdly, I said that, and most importantly, they had applied a, a an act of the Goa government which permits you to sign a sale deed with the government. That means you are selling your land. They were not acquiring the land. They were making a sale deed. How so does it benefit? One minute, man. So the sale yes, deed, sir. sale deed can only be done with an absolute owner. It cannot be done with tenanted land. Okay. So then uh, we asked uh, GSIDC in a Ram Sabha resolution. We asked GSIDC to have a presentation so that the people of the village would know. I see. Because the uh, after my field, it was right at the door of the. The gate of the panchayat, existing new panchayat I see, building, I see. which is a very narrow road and uh, has huge traffic, existing traffic. So I said, how will we cope with this traffic? I see, I see. So then they said there is a second phase. But GSIDC, in spite of three reminders over the last so many years and with a copy to the MLA, has not had any presentation for the people of Salvador. Dinesh, this is a story. One minute. I was the PS of Alina Saldana. At that time. At that time. So, one Mamre from Shoram, yeah. through the speaker in whose constituency, through the then speaker, no? Huh. Or deputy speaker, in whose constituency uh, Shoram lies, yeah. said that after meeting Madam, they said, we'll have a presentation for you. So I said, I'll bring some people. So I brought one punch member who is also a farmer. Uh, I brought uh, two, three others who are farmers. And we all sat for that presentation. There was a deputy collector, there was a Mamre the Before that, I asked Mamre for the full set of documents based on which they were going to do the, uh, the agreement. So he gave me the act and uh, people affected and uh, the
the full alignment. So I asked him only one question. I said, land, many of that is tenanted land, and it also has one column for, for cultivators. So, so I said, how will you distribute it? So he said, we'll give Kamita the Serula as the okay, uh, oh, no. land owner, 50% of them. To the tenant, 50% of them. Then they said, another cultivator. This was at a meeting where people from uh, Shara were also brought. All, all were well-educated people and Mamre was also there. So then they said the cultivator and the... Mamre is Premanand and Mamre. Premanand and Mamre. They agree. Yeah, for yeah BJP big shot. Yeah. So uh, they said that cultivator and the tenant is the same. I proved to them from their own document that it's different in some that way. the tenant is tenant yeah. is Catholic and the cultivator is Hindu. In some cases the vice versa. Vice versa. So so that so you have to yeah. how will you do? Even the deputy collector had no answer as how this is hmm. to be. Then I said, does this act under which you are signing a sale deed? Because the copy of the sale deed of a of, of a pro forma sale deed was yeah. attached to the set of documents. Does it permit you to sell to tenanted land or to the absolute owner? Because revenue department had said that only an absolute uh, owner could enter into this agreement. They said they said they would come back after the meeting. One more big land owner was there who who has a big. Uh, Mr. Natekar was also at that meeting, who would get some 82 a crore of rupees hmm. at this meeting. He, he, he was also affected. So he yeah. also raised some point that why are you having two pillars in my, in my, okay. uh, what would we call it, a uh, where, 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 where fish is grown. Yeah. Good. And that discussion. So this promise to come after. Outside the meeting, Mr. Mamre said, "You will give you double the amount." So I was quite surprised that how Mr. Mamre could give such a assurance. Uh, such a natural. So I said, "Have one more meeting and give me three more, three times the amount." <laughs> there was a lot of pressure on uh, the minister. Uh, at that meeting, we raised a question that why don't you give a presentation? GSIDC people we give that presentation yeah. to us, where they showed the second phase, where after touching the, the road yeah. leading from Salvador to Mount to Panjim, they would have the second phase, which would go up to the bridge in this. So when that was shown, the people who had come from Salvador, they said that. These are existing feet which you are going to finish off in the, the second phase. Right. It will go up the hill where there are already houses. They said no houses, but those plans very clearly showed the outline of the houses. And uh, how are you doing it? So it was very apparent, it was very apparent that the second phase was a total hocus pocus. Can I interrupt you for No, one you minute? can't interrupt me. I, the main aim was that to bring the traffic Put it, make the first phase, I see. and there would be huge the fate, uh, complete. Uh, fate complete, huge chaos, and automatically there would be demand the, there for would the be a demand. Uh, automatically, there would be a demand for a broadening Finish. of Finish. the road, we, uh, leading to demolition of the houses, Good destruction job. of everything, and uh, that is the sole purpose. Okay. Now, just to put things in context. Now, this, now, now, we have even in the latest Gram Sabha asked the GSIDC. To and our MLA to give us a presentation. Two questions. Two questions. Yeah, so, no. so what what we are talking about here is is a kind of uh, developmental pattern which upsets the villagers and which is not village friendly, not people friendly, but industry and and. No, it is vote of uh, for, uh, very good for the politicians because Shora will vote en masse for that uh, the said politician at the cost of whom. Okay cost of the livelihood and all that stuff. At that point, Just at, at the meeting, they, the Premana Mamre and the people from Chana said that there are no fields cultivated. Whereas a punch member himself who is a farmer and two others who had come said that they were doing farming. 
So, but just one question to play devil's advocate. Now, is this not being anti-development because bridges are needed? What's your answer? My answer is uh, build it over there from uh, Shoraun to Ribanga. Easy, nobody gets affected. Build it where people want it. Where people want it. Where people want it. But rich people don't want it. Here you are affecting the directly affecting the poor people, the downtrodden. You know, and cheating them because no comp. I told the people first of all the, how the government cheats. They would have they deposit the money in the treasury. Yeah. And then tell the people please go and fight. So now what happened? There have been fights in these families itself. I see. Because they can't each share, one, share, they, they share. want a share of it. Second thing. Don't talk now, you're The second thing, there is pressure on the you know, existing infrastructure that have been. They, are, they, they, were, they don't want to convince the people. Hmm. Now, you acquire a particular road, but now, and this would have been an embankment, it was not a bridge. In Salvador Dumul, it would be a mud embankment. I see, blocking complete. So, blocking the flow of water from one side to the other. Our fresh water flows from, from north south. It, from north south. From, from east west, and so this is north south. Uh, from, so, east would, west, and this is north south. south. This is a yeah. dam. This yeah. is acting as we a dam. We asked them at salinity and all would be affected. That's it, that's yeah. that's in many parts of Goa because the the, yeah, the, the, the flow the flow of the water is from west, from east to west. Yeah, and yeah, all yeah. the travel is from north to south. So, this, they, they have no answers for this. Yeah. So, it is only to fool the people. How can you apply an act which is not applicable to in the given circumstances? Now, two which of was the act? Where you could buy the land, where the government was buying the land by buy making land. a sale deal. It was not acquisition of land which was being offered. The so, land so was it's not, not compulsory? If, if the government is buying, it's not compulsory? It is not pressure. compulsory. It is you agreeing to sell. And what if one party doesn't agree? Who? If one party doesn't agree to sell the no, land. No, then they have to use that land acquisition. Okay, so tell me a last question. Tell me a little bit about Land Acquisition Act. It's a colonial law which goes back to 1894 or some such year. And it's a compulsory. So yeah, but now they have made an improvement right. in it whereby you have to pay four times the amount. Four times the market, market rate? Market rate. Four times the market rate. But the government, government has cheated the people of Mopa by depriving them of this right. So it's always the local people, the poor people of the state of Goa who suffer for these so-called development projects. We never said that Shora should have no, no should have a bridge. Should not should have, not a, have bridge. a bridge. They should have a bridge. But not not the way this is planned. But I know some people on the islands who said we don't want a bridge. It will that, is their, that is their that is their problem. Be, no, I'm talking about Divar and my friend Mario Kapralisa, who, who was anti-bridge in those days and he's from the island. That is their problem. Anyway. anyway. But if the people want have it, but, at our, but not at our cost. We get no benefit from that bridge. Last point, Anita Haladi has written an interesting paper published in Norman Dantes book where she talks about how the poor has, have got pushed out and she's talking about the real poor, the tribal populations and the others have got pushed out from their homes which were in the, on, the hilly, on, on the hilly areas by major so-called developmental projects including Goa Medical College, uh, the university and other things. So she has written that paper. That's for that. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks for shouting at me also. Yeah.